Hello beautiful and welcome to Raising Our Alliance. We are a family of six that homeschool. We are plant based and we are converting a school bus into a tiny house that we currently live in. We are people that just love the outdoors. So if you're interested in any of these contents, then please stick around. Let's go to the video. So uh, this is the fridge and above it is the cabinet I want to utilize just for pantry space. I'm going to measure as so you can see what I'm working with. So it's 40 inches all the way across and then um, let me see how deep it is. And it's 34 and a half deep. So 40 by 34 and a half. That would be what I'm going to be working with for my pantry. But I do have two other pantry across. It's the same size. And this is 61, I believe. Yeah, so this is 61 long and it's almost about the same thing. And 28. So 61 long, 28 deep. But I don't, that, that was the initial plan to use these two for a pantry. But then when we put it fresh in here, my husband built this space over, so it's not a waste space um, over there. So I decided to use this little space for my pantry because even though these two are large, so it's like, it can fit food in there for a family of six. My the problem with that is, um, when I had when I had a house with the kitchen, I had so much pantry space. I just fit it up with food. There was food in there that I never even cooked. But I had so much food that half of it was expired. It was all the way in the back of the pantry because I have so much space, and I was just so upset with myself because that was money. I'm very cheap. And I was money being wasted, and then I was food being wasted. Moving into the bus, even though we have all the space on top, I just want to be shopping once a week to use what we have. <laughs> once a week to use what we have, and if I have a little space, I'll be very conscious of what I buy. And our menu plan, and a hot thing. So, my goal is to just utilize this for what we have on hand that we use all the time. And I did a list of food that we eat all the time in my planner, write it down, and that's what I'm going to try to fit in here. If I cannot fit it in there, then I'm going to try to use half of the left side of the uh, pantry to use the half of it alone, and then the other half I can utilize it. Okay, I guess you don't want me to hold him. He came and gone. But I can utilize that, and then half of it can be for my large appliances. So, let's see how that goes. Let's see if I can fit it in here. And hopefully it come out looking good or half as good as it's in my head because you know sometimes you have imagination and then put it to use it come out looking <laughs> so hopefully it's not that this is how my pantry look right now I was utilizing the long one across the 61 inches and then the one over the fridge and we were just throwing stuff in there so this need to be organized as soon as possible just yeah. Ooh. One of my problems I had at the house is the same thing up here. Look at that cereal box. I didn't even know we had that cereal in here. And it's all the way back there. I can't even reach it. So I'm going to have to build, find a way to be able to reach everything. That is not just tucked back there for me to be able to see everything. So with the pantry, look, there's my bottle of wine. What? Ah. I can't reach it. There's something still in there. There's something still in there. And it's still full. This is the, the cabinet up here. Uh, it's clean out. Um, this side is already closed in because I was doing a kitchen. So I need to close that to work on that. Okay. But this side is not closing, it's open. And one thing I'm 
when I'm build, I'm thinking of putting a slide out of drawers. That way I can slide it out since it's deep. I may to slide it out and see and put it out and see what I have in the pantry. But then since we're on a bus, we're on a waste space. If I do this slide out, I can only go from there. Slide out. And where this is built right here, this two by four is taking up a lot of space. So this is gonna be four to five inches of space being wasted. And I wanna utilize every space I can. That way I'm not I can use this and not move the stuff you know on a paint on a cabinet. So I have cans. I'm thinking I can use this for a slide this space right here. I can use it uh, for my can storage because I don't have a way to store it. Right now it's under the couch. Uh, since the storage of this not closed up and it's everywhere. Um, and I, I can, we have some Pepsi glass and we used to hey. fix one of the broken windows. So I'm thinking yeah. I can Pepsi glass this up here. That way the can doesn't fall out. And then I can have this space open to pull this can out. And then I don't know, have a little lash I just flip up when it's not being used. That way it'll just fall out. And then I can build a little thick wall up here that with this whole space I'm utilizing it for the cans and then I can be able to have my slide out drawers and it's not gonna be wasted even though it's just in my head right now so let's see how that goes so this is my supply closet <laughs> this is what I'm gonna be using I went through my supply closet and found some cedar wood that I got from Home Depot 70% off and this cedar wood is one by four by eight. So I'm thinking of using this um, for the cabinets, the pull out drawers. I think it's thick enough. And then for the bottom, I can use some of these pieces of wood we have up here. And I think this would be just fine for stuff like this. That way I don't have to buy new material um, for it. And there's a box up here that I put a lot of stuff I bought of almonds I'm going to use. And I have a lot of drawer slides. And hopefully that reach me. I'm going to see. This is 34. Let me see if it's long enough. If it's a little bit short, I can work over it. But if it's too long, I may have to go buy something else. There's 34. The wind is that blowing, blowing my tip away. Okay, so it's 23. So I can work with that. Yep, I can definitely work with that. But it's yours. So, yep, so we have all the material. Um, I'm going to stain it with this color. And this is my chalkboard paint. Yep, I'm going to stain it with that. And I have sealer around here somewhere. And I have some sealer. All right, so yep, let's try to do this. So for what I'm gonna be using for my storage, um, this is mason jars. I got these from Walmart. It was eleven something, almost twelve dollars each, and it comes twelve dollar box, and it comes it come with six, and it's the wild mouth half a gallon size for sixty to sixty four ounces. So I'm going to use this for my storage since I don't like the metal lid because it rusts very easily. And then I tried to get a wood lid from Amazon, but that was expensive. It was like, I saw a set of four for like $18. And this mama is mommy of four that's broke. So got some plastic lids from Walmart and it was like two something, 260 for like eight in a pack. So that's what I'm gonna be using. Um, I may have to get more because I don't think this is enough at all. After doing the measurement and writing down the food we have, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to go to Walmart and hopefully they have more to get some to fill the cabinet up. But yeah, so with this, I'm going to take one of this and um, come up here and see, since I'm using this to see how tall if I'm going to need to get something else. So this is what I have. I'm not liking how it's too low. I don't know, I was hoping this was long enough to come right in the middle. Um, 
so i don't know i may have to go buy wood <laughs> i was not able to use the cedar for my cabinet but i was able to use it on this project for the can holder um so i didn't it didn't go to waste but i also did not go and buy new material for my cabinets um I used, we had an old cabinet around, which I don't know why we had it, but I broke it down. Hopefully it wasn't for a future project. <laughs> I broke it down and I repurposed the wood to be able to build my pull out, my pull out drawers. And yeah, building a cabinet it is not easy. Watch me struggle while you listen to some music. Do not make fun of my dancing, <laughs> but I was just excited that my missing jar fit into my cabinet. I built three of them and I didn't have any waste of space. I am just painting the can slider divider thinking and then the cabinet and then when I'm done with that I'm going to hand it off to my husband to install them into the cabinet. Messing in my beautiful face covering. What? You messing in my beautiful face covering. Well, I have no choice. I don't have no, I don't have no nail gun. I put no fun nail gun. Gotta screw it in.
It's not even. Farted. That farted. <laughs> Sunny said you farted. You don't know. You don't know. I know what I'm talking about. Yes, you do know what you're talking about. I heard it fart too. You heard the cat. Mm -hmm. Do you need help holding that up? So this is the cabinet. Okay. When I let go, you're gonna see the problem we're having because my husband ain't listening to me. Whatever. <laughs> so look. Okay, so forget about a dirty fingerprint. I just prime on there. I was gonna paint it, but so the problem we're having, I put this on there, and then I had this space, and I was I'm gonna utilize it and build two drawers that I can have the little missing jars. Ah, can you hear me, that sweetie? Can you hear me? And so if you can see these mason jars for the go up here, which they will go, they will go up there even with the lids on. And then you can slide them in and out. Another issue, but one of the issues is because she just wanted to have a drawer here. Can you hold that up? I thought I was talking. You said we talking. <laughs> okay, uh, actually, you're tall enough. You can actually touch the door. Hold the door up. I got the camera. Just hold the door up. So, another issue is, is that, yeah, these, these, these glasses will fit in there. But to get it in and out, it's another issue. So you can get it, push it all the way up, you can get it in there, barely, and then it can, it can slide in and out. Why don't you come all the way out? Slide all the way out. Oh yeah, yeah, I guess you can slide them all the way out, slide all the way out and maybe angle it out. But if you want something from the back of the drawer, then you're gonna have to take a lot of things out from the front, which would suck. But, okay. but the reason I didn't have a problem with it, because this drawer, I'm going to use it for extra food storage. Yeah, that's what you said after so, the fact. After we no, found out that that was going to be like that. You didn't listen to me. That's why it's like that. Yeah, sure. Okay, so what happened was... Stop putting the camera in my face. My you face want, you put my face in it. So, this is the thing. When he was putting this gas... Uh, what is this called? Uh, the uh, lift holder. Yeah. When he put it on, I told this man to only put one on... In the middle, and he said it wasn't strong enough. Now he did too. Heavy. He did too, and it's too strong. It's not. This is not staying down. Wash your hands, sweetie. See, let go. They wash your face. Gonna come out. I got it. And it just open back up. It's not staying down. So if you wanna listen to me, we wanna just put one on it. The thing. It would open up, and I then he made me. Well, he made me the, cut that out. The reason, I, yeah, I made her. She made it. She made it wide enough. To where it went from one side to on this side all the way over to this side just like this bottom drawer did but i made her cut it so it can have space for that that, that, that lift to come out i mean the lift to come, stick out the side but she the one thing she overlooks is is that when i told her that i can't put it in the middle is because that that as you can see the lift had to be a certain amount of distance i, I put the i put it initially here as per the instructions, but when I did that, I couldn't close it. I think I maybe had, maybe should have had it a little bit further up, but I couldn't close it because this would bottom out too quickly. So I moved it a little bit further back and then it was able to go down and close without bottoming out. But the issue was that it's just, I guess two or too many and um, I can't put it here because I have to, I'll have to add some kind of something there to. Why don't you just leave that there and take that one off and see if that one is open big enough? I tried that and it didn't hold it up because it's all on the edge, sweetheart. You got you're trying to lift all of that from the edge, it's going to take more force. It has, if you want to use one, it has to be in the middle. But I couldn't put one because I didn't have the because I didn't have anything there but this. 
this one piece of wood here that's all that was there but now after i put in this drawer these drawer slides i i, I added this wood here so i may I, I will have something now where i can affix a thicker maybe a, a, a wider board slightly wider board that way i can meet the length of the distance from the front to the back for requirement for that uh, lift assist to come over here and come up here somewhere right maybe right around around here it'll be yeah probably like right here what so, I'm upset about is my drawer now I have to make a new drawer to go all the way like that because you said yes. it was dead space anyway you said it was dead space because you wanted mason jars because you're saying that you want to but I stuff. may change my mind like Instead of putting a missing jar, just put, it, what, put it, it, the the packaging that you can't come with. Your mom is what get us here in the first place. What are you? What are you talking about? Because you wanted the two drawers, and then you you the one who said that oh you want took mason jars, these mason jars, and measured it out. You didn't roll up three, and you said well that's dead space anyway. I wouldn't be able to fit those mason jars in there, and so you initially wanted to fit these smaller mason jars in there. But and later now that you and then you saw that you couldn't when you find out it's difficult to get them in and out of here, you said, Oh, well, I can use it for a junk jar. So you didn't initially want it for a junk jar, you wanted it for a mason jar. So you No, you, my mason jar is my junk jar. Oh Lord from Jesus. my leftover food that I'm gonna put in here. Don't give me the strength. <laughs> Don't bring Laura into this right now. He's just relaxing, trying to protect people from somewhere. I'm trying to protect you from me. I'm trying to protect me from you? You from me. I'm going crazy on you. Because you losing. you but making me lose it. No, this is going to be, this drawer is my junk food drawer, my extra food that's in the packaging. Because all of it is not going to fit in this you mason jar. You said in the jar. packaging. So what the packaging got to do with the mason jars, sweetie? Because I had extra mason jar. I didn't want to waste. Why would I waste if I have extra mason jar? So I'm just going to put the food in there. Mm -hmm. But now I realize it's hard to take in there. I can just full of the extra package, uh, package that if we come in and put it in there so yes. that amount of space it's not use it's not unused use useless i can use that why why you give me that look mm -hmm, listen i'm hearing i'm receiving your message and it's going through it in the ear that's what we're through this whole situation you mm -hmm. should listen to my matches put it in the middle figure something out and then i wouldn't have had to cut that jar two times he made me cut it two times to get apart cut it and he said oh no i need it shorter and then do it again and he said oh yeah it's not gonna work no he said it's not gonna work it works it you, can, it you can literally have this like that all you have to do is put a restraint system on it why but, would no i wanted to open I, and close as i said it gets, this could still work you just have to put a restraint system on it but you don't want to do that i've been doing some things i don't want to do around here what are you talking about so I mean, look how fast it's going a long way. What are you talking about? It was like, because, like, I was like, why do you need two drawers? Why don't you just have one drawer there? One drawer, just work. one drawer. He said, no, I want two drawers. Because like, if I have one drawer, that's a waste of tough space. I don't, I don't want to go to the, tough space. I don't want it because I have those jars there. I don't want to go to the store and spend more money on more jars. I don't need if I have these one if I can utilize it. That's mm -hmm. wasting stuff. That's wasting natural resources. But we have demand we have cap we have supply. space up here. Supply demand. I'm trying to use that for books mm -hmm. in my appliances, my large appliances. So if I can fit all my stuff in here, it will get me less space to work with, more food to not waste, more money to save, and then that could be for the kids' books because right. you know they're gonna be getting more books. Right. Why are you disagreeing with me? That's your disagreeing look. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Uh huh. And stop doing your lip like that. Just you look ridiculous. <laughs> I'm just receiving your message. Okay, so can you fix, can you finish the, this, please? Sure. Thank so. you. Here is the cabinet. So after going back and forth, back and forth with that man, I called my husband that refused to listen to what I'm telling him. We finally fixed the problem. So. Let's look into this cabinet. When open it up, I have two drawers and a little bin that I have my extra food store in. Um, this bin, this cabinet right here holds 32 ounce mason jar, and then this is the bin I got from Walmart. I just hold my extra 
food storage and then that one hold my 64 ounce and then on the side right there that's where the cans are stored so let's pull this out and just counting how much can I have because I don't remember four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen so sixteen cans of sixty four ounce I could fit two more in there if I remove the oils but that would mean I have to go and buy more and I infuse and I need a place for my oils anyway. So let me tell you how it fits the jar lift. See all the screws holes in there? When my husband was tired and both of us walk away, I just kept moving the top one random places and screwed it in there until they work. That is how we fix it by me just moving stuff around and re-screwing it. 32 ounce. It basically has my beans, my um, baking product, my rice and grits like little stuff that we get from natural grocers that come in the 32 ounce bags and it fit in there perfectly and then in the back right here since i only use this once a week i decided i can just put it in there and it'd be, i won't lose my patience trying to pull that all the time and it's my flour in front of it, i just have my baking soda and baking powder because i only use those once a week to bake some goodies for the kids I don't bake as much as I used to from the house. I got lazy over time, but I'm gonna go back to that now that everything is in order. So, these little bins, I had them for a while. I got them from Walmart. And three of them just fit in here perfectly. Like, God was with me. But I do have a problem. I cannot put them out flat out like that. I have to turn it on the side to be able to pull it out but I have enough space to be able to turn it and that's how I pull the drawer out and the first one just had a lot of my protein powder and smoothie topper for smoothie bowls and stuff in there and the vitamins and the rest of the two that's why I use to store extra food storage but I do learn I do love how this turned out I didn't expect it to turn out this way um, so yeah Let's go and look at a can um, slider that I have on the side of the drawer. So that right there is just the lift for the can to close it up. I don't know how to explain this. Okay, so just look at it and you can get an idea because I don't know how to explain. All I'm going to say is Pepsi glass, wood, and hook. <laughs> and yeah lots of lots of cutting wood and redoing it because the cabinet was not straight how to remove stuff around but the can slider works i love it i'm so glad that i put this in there because i can see how much cans i have for shopping purposes and it, it just look pretty okay so thank you so much for sticking around watching this video um, dealing with me and my husband craziness <laughs> if you like this content then please please hit the like button and subscribe so you can follow along with us on this journey of converting a school bus raising kids homeschooling and thank you again and have a blessed day